This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Just call me Guybrush Threepwood, matchmaker for the undead. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of The Curse of Monkey Island. In the last episode, we died again to take advantage of the things that would die, but to get the goops, the good soup, family crypt. And here we found uh, uh, Minestrone herself, who uh, was left at the altar by LeChuck. Who knew that uh, he was such a dashly person? So now we need to figure out about escaping this place, maybe helping her out, which will help us get to the diamond. So let's get out of here. Leave her alone for now. Yeah. Hello? What do we got here? Let's take a look around. <laughs> Die! Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Murray makes an appearance. How'd he get here? I don't know. Let's take a look at him. It's Murray. Hi, Murray. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, he tried to scare us. I got stuck in the crack or whatever, so hope you don't break your mother's back, so. I can't use the chisel with that. Oh, I can't use anything on him. I can't use the portrait face with that. Yeah. I was trying to remember if there's anything you guys should use on uh on Murray. Reuniting Murray with his arm is a bad idea. <laughs> well, he'd probably strangle us, huh? The magic wand has no I can't use a balloon. Yeah, too bad we don't have any uh I can't paste that. Uh the that doesn't have anywhere to give him to anymore, so I can't use the corp no, I guess not. Okay. My mask of tofu won't do anything here. Okay. Well, we could leave him, however. Hey! Yeah, we get Murray with us. How's it going, buddy? I don't want to get caught up in a conversation with Murray right now. He just can't stop jammering. Hey, watch the hands! I know they joke about Murray, like, Pocky too much, but I prefer him. <laughs> Alas, I can't use Murray with that. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we have Murray in our inventory. Looks like minestrone, delicately seasoned with cobwebs and mouse knuckles. My favorite. It's probably gotten cold. Yeah, um, yeah. No, really, I couldn't. I'm full. Please, don't. Don't even think about it. Don't, don't make me. Good soup is food. Good soup is food. Huh. Oh. Huh, the talk option doesn't... Good soup is food. Weird. The talk option doesn't do anything. He just... Do I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. I guess you're supposed to say nah, but for some reason it's bugged. Ha, huh, weird. Good soup is food. Oh, well, we know that. I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. Oh, that's the same thing. Never mind. So, ooh, look at this. It's a universal crowbar. Nah. Well, now we have a crowbar. I can't use the crowbar with that. Nah. It's a universal crowbar. Universal? I need to use the crowbar with something else. Universe man, universe crowbar, universe... I don't know. I was, I was thinking of something, but, uh, yeah, never mind. I was trying to come up with a joke, and I failed miserably. Oh, well. Hey, it's Mort. The, uh, the, uh, uh, groundskeeper. We actually fixed up his back, like, way long ago when we had that voodoo doll. Took the needle out of it, fixed up that. That's this guy. So... It's the poster for some really trashy monster book. Trust me, it'll never sell. What does it say? Moby Dick? Oh. <laughs> I can't reach. Just call me Ishmael. Nah. I've read Moby Dick. It's an interesting read uh, overall. Uh, not that long of a book either, but uh, yeah, most of the movies kind of take away from some of the uh, oddness of the, of the book overall. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting story. Definitely worth checking out. It's a poster for Suckers 12. The Beaking. I can't reach. Looks like some Eldritch Horror or something like that. Nah. Spooky. I can't reach. I guess this guy's a fan of horror movies. Nah. Yeah, the Wolfman, huh? The Wolfman's got nards! No one's gonna get that. 
It looks like he's writing a horror novel. It's called The Grog That Drank People, part one of a three-book cycle. I wonder why trashy media always comes in threes. I don't know, actually. I think there was a reason, but... I can't reach. Nah. Oh, there's a lantern. It's a glowing lantern. Ooh. I can't reach. Nah. Oh. Dead parrot? It's either a dead parrot or a very strange bat. It is a dead parrot! It has ceased to be! I can't reach. Nah. Quoth Rado. It's the stuff that really boring dreams are made of. Oh, that's a reference to uh, uh, the Maltese Falcon, I think. <laughs> the Black Raven. They make they make a reference to that also in Quest for Glory. He uses that reference a lot. It's the stuff that dreams are made of, kid. I can't reach. Nah. It's the stuff that really boring dreams are made of. It's a bunch of cheesy horror stories. I can't reach. Nah. I like some pulp stories. It really depends. What Chuck mask? Looks like a Halloween mask. I can't reach. Nah. Really should just look at the description. I don't think you can grab any of this stuff anyway. Smuggle bunny. Cloying, yet grisly at the same time. It's a poster for some dumb book about undead pirates. Uh, pirates must die. <laughs> dinosaur doll. It's a dinosaur from the monsters that time couldn't care less about. <laughs> uh, forgot the name. Uh, I mean, it's the, the time, uh, the land of the lost or time. Or the, the... It's a dinosaur from the monsters that time couldn't care less about. Yeah. But it has a peg leg and everything, so... Anyway, you don't actually have to talk to more for this next section, but... That must be the gravedigger. Mm, no. Well, he couldn't anyway. He's too far away. Hey, mister! Help! What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the gravedigger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke, I'm really trapped in here. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, well, you, won't, you won't get fooled again. Or whatever the line is. Uh, I'm gonna sculpt back in the darkness now. You must love horror stories to own all these collectibles. Reading fantastic stories about the dead helps me keep my mind off my work. Money on my work and money on my, my mind. Whatever, I don't know. Why are you wasting your money on all this bad fiction? At least my bad fiction doesn't require over a thousand dollars in hardware. I see your point. I think he's making fun of the game in general. Although, did it really cost a thousand dollars for a PC by the time this game came out? Probably not. You're probably gonna get... Well, I don't know. Huh. Well, I mean, this PC I, I have right here is like two grand. So, I mean, that's possible but which i use it to play retro games that sounds about right let me out of this crypt i'm not falling for your tricks this time just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels let me read my stories let me out of this crypt just leave me alone and let me read my horror novels okay this isn't a trick i'm really trapped in this crypt i drank a special potion that put me into a coma Thinking I was dead, they buried me in this crypt. Yeah, right. They did that in the book. Never trade lunches with a corpse. If you kids ever came up with an original idea, I might believe you. Is it really possible to come up with an original idea anymore? Because uh, they've all been done. It's just how you implement it, really, is how you go about it. Just come and look at me through this crack. Oh, sure. I turn my back to the door and you thieving little hoodlums will sneak up from behind and tie me up. I read all about your sinister ways in my horror novels, so nothing doing. It's nothing like real life. Sometimes real life is more scary. Just come and look at me through this crack. No way, Buster. Just come and look at me through this crack. No okay. way, Buster. Repeat it now. Curses, you've seen through my web of deceit. I'm no ordinary man trapped in a crypt. Well, what are you then? Uh, huh. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I'm an angry, deranged ghost haunting the crypt. Uh, my faster the light ship is trapped in subspace anomaly. I seek the golden rods of Cathan to bring peace to the Shire. Do you bear the mark of Tixplik, the chosen one foretold by the scrolls of the Third Shadow? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. What I meant to say was... Uh, <laughs> I, I know they're referencing like, a lot of things, like Cthulhu, the, uh, um, uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, and a couple other books, but, uh... 
my faster-than-light ship is trapped in a subspace anomaly. You have no ship. Any true warp traveler would know that reversing the polarity of the ion flux field would result in a tachyon expansion wave, creating a trail of neutrinos that could be followed out of the anomaly. What I meant to say was... So, Technobabble. Yeah, it's basically a Star Trek script. I'm an angry and deranged ghost haunting this crypt. Then, let me see you appear before me. Excuse me? If you were a real spirit, you could materialize in a ghostly form. It's all in the books. Well, let's see it. Isn't the ominous sound of my disembodied voice proof enough? I guess not. I should have said the, uh, uh, the leather one because I forgot that that it goes into the next section. Oh, well. <laughs> Fear me. I'm an evil ghost. Then go ahead. Show your ghastly visage. I can't. I'm shy. You're no ghost. It's basically telling us how to, uh, solve this. I'm going to haunt you until you set me free. Then go ahead. Show your ghastly visage. Not right now. <laughs> You're no ghost. I'll feel like it. I'm gonna go sulk in the darkness now. Have a good time. All right, so we need this lantern. However, if you're playing a uh, normal mode, um, you can just use the ar uh, Murray's arm and grab it. However, well, that can reach the lantern, but it won't grab hold. But on Mega Monkey mode, we have to do something extra specific to uh, to grab it. So what we need to use is the paste. After all of this time, we now actually have to use the paste. There we go. Murray's arm with paste. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? How are you still reading? Well, I mean, the, yeah, you had the light in the fireplace, but that's not a very good light. But uh, apparently it's not enough, though. So now we have to use... Uh, um, now we have to use the uh, uh, thing to uh, the lantern to freak him out. But let's see what happens if we use Murray on the crack. Murray, say something scary. Boo! <laughs> I am a fearsome skull! I don't think it's working, Guybrush. Yeah, sorry. No more. Any, any other lines? I better think of something oh, okay. else. Actually, can, uh, can you use Murray on her? That's just gross. What? Nothing. That's okay. just gross. What? Nothing. Yeah, don't, don't give him a Murray. It's a pain worse than death. I don't think she'd like th Oh, okay. Okay, well, anyway. I, just, I was just curious. Okay, so now we need to use the lantern on it, but yeah, we can't have Murray do it by itself, so... Okay, so what we need to do is we need to combine Murray with the lantern. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. Move! Ah! Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. All right, can we it's out of oil. Yeah, can we take it with us? Nah. It's useless now that it's out of oil. Yeah. I don't know why. The game keeps making fun of Murray. Is that he's is a really annoying guy. I actually find him pretty entertaining. I mean, yeah, I guess if he talked to you 24-7, you'd find him annoying. But the time he's in the game is pretty entertaining. But now we can actually leave. However, well, let's just say, let's uh, let's see if Stan has anything to say to Murray or whatever. Hey, hey, Guybrush, there sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. 
Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine. I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please. I'm getting out of here. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Yeah, he disappears after... If you don't go in there, if you just leave, he says the same thing. So he just disappears. So, yeah, no more Murray. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted, so... But yeah, I don't know why he just... I mean, it's not... I mean, is he going to come and uh, take us out if he does that? Well, anyway. Let's head back to the hotel. Now that we dealt with our uh, dead experience or whatever, so... I'm back again. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. Yeah, uh, they're just like, dude, I'm on. Madam Zima, I... Be gone. Okay, never mind. I was hoping they had something extra to say. Hey, your cousin's back or whatever I am. Okay, never mind. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Okay, well, anyway, let's, uh, let's, uh, uh let's get, uh, the ghost lady and the, uh, undead man together. Just because we can't. Because, you know, we gotta match, gotta match these people up together. That's where we are, matchmakers. Yeah, I don't think he'd like okay, that. Okay, well, anyway, we need to use the crowbar and the boarded hole here, so... There you go. He's ready to go. So, I guess I freaked, I freaked uh, good soup out uh, up or whatever. So, all right. Now, one last thing to do is uh, uh, send this guy back to his beloved, even though he's already obviously seen the world of beyond. But uh, you know, this is the this is the thing Eyebrush is. If he can't his, have his relationship yet, he can give everyone else his relationship. I wonder what's happened. Uh, what's going on with LeChuck now? Now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. I was just with Charles? Charles de Goulash, is it really you? Minnie! It's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Elope? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me! Oh, yes, Charles. Yes. A thousand times, yes! Then kiss me, my love. Wow, ah, love really made sure explode, huh? But, yep, uh, so they, I guess they, afterlife or wherever they go, I guess, so good for them. It looks like it's just about Elaine's size, but Ooh. it needs a diamond to be complete. Yeah, to get fi uh, pick, uh, fix that cor uh, that curse situation. Nah. Now we get the wedding band. All right. It looks like it's just about Elaine's size, it's but just, it needs a diamond to be complete. It's just right. But that's it for the crypt area, I think. So, well, one thing's good to go. At least we've got this. Now we just need to get the diamond. How are we gonna deal with the smugglers, though? Uh, decisions, decisions. Well, let's get out of here. Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, nope. Nope. She's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me, Guy Rush Drinkwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride! And more slaw! Curse those villains! They never give you enough slaw with these value meals. That's the worst thing ever, but it looks like uh, LeChuck's on his way to try and find a lane, so we gotta hurry. But anyway, let's go back to the hotel. We gotta grab some things for our next thing, because now we need to find, uh, need to contact the Welshman that the good soup, good soup told us about, so this is our next objective. So let's grab some stuff now that the uh, good soup is ready to go. We could have done this earlier, but... That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. Ah, well, all right. That's just how it works, I guess. But yeah, you automatically open up the lid, too. So It's the lid to the tip jar from the hotel. I need to use the jar lid with something else. A jar, for instance? A jar, a jar? Nah. When's a jar not a jar? When it is a door. It's empty. I need to use the jar with something else. It's empty. Okay, we also need, if you're playing Mega Monkey mode, we're going to need this mirror as well. However, we can't just grab it as much as we'd like to. Or you can. Look at that. It's me. It's me. Nah. It's an empty mirror frame. I can't pick that up. Nah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take the mirror and go. Here, did you just take my mirror? No. Nope. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. Put it back. All right, all right. Yeah, you have to actually do something else. You can't just take the mirror, so. Sheesh, what a grouch. What was that? Nothing. All right, let's take it again, but do something different this time. Now we need to use the face on the mirror. You just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Hmm. I guess you're right. Oh, dear. I'm starting to look old. From all that drinking. Mind your own business. All right. So before we get head on, let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, go back here. Now that we've died, there's some inf information in the file cabinet, as you can see there. It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. Yeah, now we have a death certificate for ourselves. This hereby certifies that Hearty Beef and Potato Good Soup met his demise at least once on Blood Island. Nah. Yeah, let's take it. So now we can go to Stan, even though our name is Guybrush Threepwood, but it'll work in this case for some reason. I don't know why, so. But, uh, anyway. Now right, let's head back to Stan in the cemetery. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Oops. I've got my death certificate for you. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. I'm dead. I really am. Do you have any proof that you're dead? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I die. Give me a lot of money. Hmm, it looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. All right, so we got our money. I'm surprised he just let us do like without much of a fuss to, to tell you the truth, but. 
Nah. This is a lot of money. Hey, <laughs> I'm liquid. Liquid money, I guess? This is a lot of money. Or liquid gold or whatever. So yeah, it just says it's a lot of money. We don't know the actual number, but okay. All right, let's get out of here. I think that's it for... I think that's it for Stan, really. We just get a lot of money, and that's it. We're out of here, so... All right, let's head to the windmill now. Yeah, we need to get up to the top of the windmill. It's locked. Yeah, we gotta get up there somehow. I can't reach it. So, normally if you're playing on regular mode, you can go into the, uh, you can just go in and go do it in the first place. However, since we're playing Mega Monkey mode, we need another thing to do before we get up there, so. Yeah, we use an umbrella to get up there, so. It's full of fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Ooh. Nah. Mm, no. Well, we do want that, actually. It's full of sugar water now. All right, time to get back down. But yeah, the uh, regular mode, that door's not locked, so. All right, now it's open, so, but, uh, all right. Let's head to the clearing where Elaine is. We need these fireflies. They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. I'd have, like, a bottle with uh, open holes at the top and catch fireflies and just look at them. Nowadays, I see that's kind of cruel, and I just... Uh, they're in my yard anyway, so I can just enjoy them from afar during the summer uh, days. They sure are bright. I mean, I know they're insects, and they... I think the lifespan of a lightning bug... We used to call them lightning bugs where I was from. Uh, fireflies as well. I think their lifespan is only like a couple of days or something like that. It's not very long, if I recall correctly, so... Nah. Still. But anyway, we need some of these guys. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mmm, bet that water sure tastes good. Now, if you just take it without doing anything else... The fireflies will escape. Yeah, you can't just, uh... You can't just do that, so we have to put the lid on. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. However, if we... It's full of glowing fireflies. I need to use the jar with something else. Glow, tiny friends, glow! Yeah, I think it's... I think it doesn't take much. Yep, see? Oh no, all the fireflies have suffocated. I need to use the jar with something else. I haven't chugged a jar full of dead fireflies since college. Uh, what college did you go to? But anyway, we need to, uh, yeah, you can't, if they die if you, if you do that, so. It's a bunch of dead fireflies. I need to use the jar with something else. So you need to put back down here. Yeah, so the <laughs> the reason I knew to do this as a kid because I uh, I did this. I would put holes in the top of a jar lid to there. I poked holes in it to make sure they could survive. You know, they need air. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. I don't know. Lightning bugs usually aren't that aggressive, really, overall. So, but yeah, now they're good to go. So, all right. Now the reason we're doing this is we're fixing the lighthouse, which in the rich in the. Uh, um, Regular mode, we don't have to do much to fix the lighthouse, but in this case, we have to do something a little bit extra. So yeah, we're gonna light the, li the lighthouse with these uh, uh, fireflies. Perfect. Ooh, ominous! How it just popped in like the, the last second. All right, look at that bad boy. The light is on, but there's no mirror to reflect the light. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. I'm proud. Nah. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. It's broken. I don't have anything to replace it with. Nah. Yeah, I know we need to figure out what to do on this one, so. Alright. So, we just used the mirror we got earlier, so. The lighthouse is working now. Alright. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do. It's working perfectly. 
It's working beautifully. It concentrates the light okay. into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. All right, let's uh, get out of here. All right, let's head to the beach. There he is, the Welshman. Huh. It was kind of like death. Oh, apparently, the Welshman or death, or whatever, needs a needs a you know a little rubber vest to make sure he doesn't drown. I mean, you should. You don't want to drown, right? Let's see what this guy has to say. Intimidating. Oh. Mm, no. All right. Well, let's see what he has to say. Who are you? I. I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. Huh. All right, well, uh, can you get me to Skull Island then? I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked in that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. How will being able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of compass. The directional kind. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. Oh, so, well, that makes sense to have a compass and uh, a map and light the way and all this other stuff. So, huh, how do we make a compass? Well, if you were the Boy Scouts like me, you know how to do it, but... I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I told you not until I get a compass. If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. Other than clicking on everything with everything, I'm not sure who, if anyone straight up tells you how to make a compass. I think someone does, but I know how to make one, so let's get some water first. So we need a measuring cup, so let's get some salt water. It's full of seawater. Alright, now you need to put a needle in it. However, you can't use just a regular needle. It's full of seawater. I need to use the measuring cup with something else. I don't know where this water's been. Now what you do is you'd use a pin in it, however. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Yeah, so we need to make a, uh, find a way to make it, you know, stay up. So the way you're supposed to do that is we need to magnetize it. So let's use the refrigerator magnet. Cool, a magnetic pin. The line boggles at the possibilities. Uh, we are doing this all with science. Cool, a magnetic pin. I don't want to poke myself with a pin. No, I have a very low threshold of pain. Whoops, keep accidentally leaving the map here. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Yeah, we need to do something else as well, so you can't just use the... Oh ho! Okay. Yeah, we just use it in the cork, which is a... a, a amorphous, not amorphous, one of my... Porous, yes. It porous is he, SpongeBob SquarePants. It's a cork with a magnetized pin stuck in it. I need to use the cork with something else. Nah. Okay, but yeah, I'll keep it up, and then the magnet will point towards magnetic north, which isn't like true north. It's like slightly off, if I remember what magnetic north is. Um, it's been forever since I've studied that, so. Hey, neat, it points north. Science is fun when you know the secret. Yeah, I made something like this when I was in the Boy Scouts. I also made it in a school in science class. I wonder if kids still learn that type of stuff. Probably not, which is kind of sad. Well, I admit I had my doubts at first, but it looks really nice all put together. It just really ties the room together. It points north. Always. <laughs> Always. Nah. With confidence. Here, take this compass. This is a compass. Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? Eh, it was nothing. All right, now we can go. Now, before you go, make sure you have the death cards, the umbrella, and insurance money. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to come back to Blood Island again uh, to redo it. So, but uh, now that we use a compass, now we can go. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. Even 
Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of... Skull Island! That's a duck! What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, uh, we just, yeah, make our way up there. All right, cool. Hello. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we gotta get to that door thing down there, so let's take a look around. How cool. It looks like a giant flying snail. Weird enough that the game didn't point out the whole rabbit thing. I would say, I was about to say rabbit. It was like, because the way you look at it, so. It's a hand cranked elevator. I can't use it myself. Someone has to lower me down. Yeah. Nah. How would we do it anyway if we tried to do it by ourselves? You know what I mean? So, anyway. I bet he can help me find the smuggler's cave. Looks like a poor fellow. I don't want to have to carry him around everywhere. <laughs> we tried with uh, Murray until he disappeared, so. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before, but uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. LaFoot? Well, I guess he does have a foot. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Uh, actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. You don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. Okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops! Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! Now what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to use an item while on this fall here, but... <laughs> he doesn't even say anything about it. It's just funny to see him crunch himself. It's the mysterious ferryman of Skull Island. Let's see what he has to say. Excuse me. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We don't need to go. So let's go back. Yeah, hey, dude. Yes? Uh, try it again. Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. All right, so you're supposed to use the inventory and it pauses you while you do it, but let's fall again just for the purposes of see if there's any extra dialogue. I don't think so, but. Apparently Guybrush just has infinite lives or something like that, or maybe has a cheat code on where he doesn't take damage or something like that. Poor Guybrush just gets beaten and punched about. Just like a rag doll. Yes? Try it again. Do you think you'll be able to lower me down this time? All right. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting better at this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it's only twice, so that's usually a good rule for this game. 
Whoops! Yeah. All right. Anyway, we need to use an umbrella, which wouldn't really work, actually, but uh, because it would immediately full flop into itself or whatever. But, oh, yeah, you're actually supposed to... Uh, well, we'll pause it. It slows it down when you do that, so sorry about that. That was actually an accident. I was trying to explain things. I let Guybrush get hit again, so... Yeah, you're supposed to use that umbrella, so, but yeah, the umbrella would actually flip up because it's not, it can't take that, handle that immediate force. Sorry, we can't, we can't Mary Poppins this stuff, you know. Yes? All right. Just try lowering me one more time. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Here we go. It's like we got it this time, right? Right. Whoops! Yeah. All right. Anyway, use the umbrella. Whoops. Sorry about that. Messed that up. <laughs> I was supposed to actually use it, not grab it. My bad. <laughs> I know how to play this game. I just keep making a mistake. <laughs> Alright, seriously, we'll do it right this time. Yeah, you're actually supposed to use it not to actually pull it out of your inventory. That was an accident. Yes? Just try lowering me one more time. Yeah, for sure. I, I think I'm getting better at this. I can't actually Here skip the dialogue, unfortunately. It won't let me, so. Whoops! Alright. Use the... There you go. No more smacking our face on them. Huh, who are these fellows? Well then. Interesting situation here. Uh, stand aside, I'll strike you down. Hey there, neighbor, got any diamonds? So where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? Good afternoon, I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. Uh, I have got so much money, it's so embarrassing. Whoops, I messed up the wrong cave later. Good afternoon, I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people, chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn, let me try that again. <laughs> uh... Here we go. Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. Yeah, I'm a threatening. Stand aside or I'll strike you down. <sighs> uh, I'll strike you down with how polite and reasonable I can be. We seem to have an unwanted visitor, Croft. Deal with him. Darn. Let me try that again. Uh, yeah, why do you have so many? So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? <sighs> Hob at him, Croft. Darn, let me try that again. And... Whoops, I must have the wrong cave. Later. Okay, yeah, so we, uh... <laughs> so, even though we we just stay here... You can't leave, I guess, so... Extremely dangerous precipice. That's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, I don't feel so good. Nah. Mm, no. No, we don't want to go out that way. Let's take a look around. Smuggling by candlelight. Very romantic. Smuggle bunny again? Everyone has one of these things, huh? Wow, they have a lot of smuggle bunnies. It's adorable and functional. It's not that adorable. <laughs> I don't want it. It's not that adorable. Even packed into confined spaces, they're still adorable. You know, there are plenty of people who could give them better homes than I ever could. I wouldn't know what to say. Let's see, who else we got there? Smuggle Bunny. Oops, sorry. What are you looking at? Uh, nothing, sir. What you is looking at, eh? I think that would be a very bad idea. <laughs> He's not much of a talker. Yeah. Then we can actually leave via this way. So yeah, there's a hidden little compartment here for uh, for getting out. But it looks like King Andre, I guess that's what his name is, has the diamond we need. But if he's not gonna, if he's not just gonna give it to us, perhaps a lot of money will. Will we have to play him in a game of uh, game of strategy and wit, or will we just cheat our way out? We'll find out what happens next time in the next episode of the Curse of Monkey Island. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.